Hi, my name is Dave Milton, and today we're looking at right angle all metal valves. So today we'll be looking at the all metal right angle valve, which is the CR and the CRD. We'll also be looking inside the valve to see the feature benefits of this valve. So I hope you find the following video interesting. So in front of me we have the two valves, which is the CR40 and the CRD40. And I'm just going to explain a bit about how the valves are, are made up. Uh, this one, as you can see, is fully welded. They weld there so the movement assembly is part of the body. On this one, the movement assembly is removable. The most common one we sell is the CR version. The reason being that on this one, should somebody over-tighten the valve, you could crack the gasket seal here, which could cause the valve to leak. But the reason you would buy this one is where you can physically not get to the bolts on the flange should you need to change the pad. This one you can just unbolt and the movement assembly will lift out. On this one, if you do need to change the pad, then you need to remove the valve and the pad will come out through the side port. Both of these valves are bakeable to 450 degrees C open and 300 degrees C closed. The bellows, in the ideal situation of an ultra clean vacuum and not baked heavily, will last 100,000 cycles. To the first pad change, you look in about 10,000 cycles. The smallest valve we do is the CR20, which has the 34mm OD flanges. The next is the CR40 with the 70mm OD flanges. And the last is the CR60 with 114mm OD flanges. The part codes are CR for the fully welded and CRD for the demountable. At the end of the part code, for instance, ZCR20R, the R stands for rotatable flanges and this is for ease of assembly. On the table we have the two valves which is the demountable and the non-demountable. This is the non-demountable CR and the demountable CRD. You notice that this valve is a slightly different colour, it's slightly straw. It's because we do offer these valves baked at an extra cost. On the table I have what the valve looks like inside. So we're looking at the CR20 in this case. So inside the CRD20 you have the bellows assembly, which is a hydroform bellows. You have the copper pad and then you have the knife edge section at the bottom and this part here is the knife edge where the copper pad will seal against. These valves are shut off either by using a plastic knob which fits on the top or on the smaller valve we use a T-bar. So we've seen the CR20 here. Uh, to make it a bit easier I've got a CR40 bottom seat here with the pad. Uh, this is one that's been used so you can see how the ceiling works actually on the pad. The valve is designed to work up to 100,000 cycles. So you now see on the screen an image of the valve with a cut through section of this and you can see the knife edge and the pad and how the valve is set up inside. This forms the seal which you can just about make on the pad there. So every time the valve is closed that perfectly aligns 100% each time. I'll just explain a bit about how these valves are actually used. Uh, if you see on here there's an index mark and there's also an outgassing hole. Uh, when you close the valve off uh, these two should be in line. On the CR20 it's much easier because an index mark on the both for the body and the index ring at the top. Uh, you can use the plastic knob on the CR40 and CR60 and on the CR20 uh, you can use the T-bar to do this. When we originally make these valves, the valves are preset to a torque which you can find in the manual. So if you change the pad this must be done to this torque setting initially. Once you've done that, afterwards you can just use the index marks as I've shown. So on the CR40 valve here, using the black valve to open the valve is just a simple case of just turning it and then to close 
come back until the index line aligns with the outgassing hole in the body. That will give you a leak tight valve. Another thing about the valves, when you're fitting these valves, you should always fit with the smallest volume facing the vacuum, which is this flange. This is always the inlet and this is always the outlet. So today we looked at the CRD, the CR valves, which is the demountable and the fully welded versions. We've looked at the materials they're made of and we've also looked at the internal workings of this valve. If you found this video interesting, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon.